So, what's after the 1080 Ti? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. Everybody's all excited about this 1080 Ti video card. It's awesome. It's fantastic. But what's after it? I mean, for $699, you get this fantastic thing. But what about the future? Should I wait? Should you not wait? Granted, the 1080 Ti does kick butt. It offers 12 billion transistors, 11 gig of memory on board. It's unbelievable. However, there are, there are rumors that the 20 series video card will be coming. Uh, it's like almost, it's like a Pascal refresh. Should you wait for that? Or should you wait for the Volta? And you're probably thinking, what's the Volta? The Volta is going to use some heavy duty, high tech stuff, technology that we've never seen before. And it's going to change probably how video cards are. When they come out with the 2000 series, now right now they're in the 1000 series uh, GPUs, the, t the, the 1080, 1080 Ti, 1060, 1070, 1050, 1050 Ti. So what, what's coming down the pike is uh, some really, it's all rumored right now. The, the GPU for the, for the Titan, because um, they're all Pascal based. So the GPU for the, for the Titan is a GP102, which we all know already. But coming down the pike is the GP104. And, um, and the, G, uh, the 102 is going to be used in the new 2080 Titanium. Again, all rumored. But I just thought I'd throw it out there. So the uh, 2070 is going to have um, 8 gig of GDDR5X memory. Uh, that's pretty much across the board, but the new 2080 Ti is going to have 12 gig of GDDR5 uh, memory, 10 gigabits per second, um, 384 bit memory bus, 480 uh, gigabytes a second. That's supposed to be at the end of quarter four. So that's all rumored. I mean, I'm, I'm just going over stuff that I've been, uh, you know, checking out, looking into, and trying to find out what's coming down the pipe because every GPU manufacturer has some sort of a, I guess, a, a map of what's, you know, what's going to happen down the line. So, um, so I mean, I'm calling it, um, you know, 1000 series, but they're calling probably the 10 series because the 980, so that's a 9 series. So 10 series, 9 series, 10 series, and now the 20 series, which is the, what I was just talking about. So it's going to be 2050, 2060. 20, I'm, a, I'm assuming probably 2060 titanium or even a 2050 titanium, uh, 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti. So that's going to that's gonna be a Pascal refresh. NVIDIA Volta, which is going to be the 30 series GPU. All rumored, of course, but you know what? It's always good to know what's coming down the pike. You know, um, that's going to use the, the GV110 GPU. Uh, GV102 and GV104. So we're familiar with the GP for P for Pascal, but the V now for Volta. So, so that's the new, that's for 2018. So we got some cool stuff coming down. Should you upgrade or should you wait? That's the question. So uh, the, the, it's going to, the, the 30 series uh, GPU is going to probably have uh, GDDR6 memory. So, I mean, that's 16 gig of it, too. <laughs> 16 gig on a video card. That's crazy. So you're going to have 3080, 3070, 3060. <laughs> and those smaller cards are going to probably have like 6 gig or 8 gig of memory on them. 256-bit uh, uh, memory bus or 384. They're going to probably stick with the, all the ones they've been using now, but just shifting the memory technology and the core, you know, the, diff, the new cores, the GVs versus the GPs. Um, it's quite impressive, actually. Uh, it's the, the new technology that they're doing. It's, 
the memory technology that they have, they're like kind of stacking the memory, which is pretty cool. Um, I can't imagine, uh, it's just going to be crazy. Oh yeah. And, and what, what what's this? Uh, it's going to have the capability of doing like 512 gigabytes a second. Right now we're at the 480 mark, but 512, Hey, half a gig. That's nice. <laughs> That's crazy. So it's going to be called like the Volta stack. But anyway, you know, enough with that. I mean, I'm sure that the, cause the new technology is the HBM2, which is what NVIDIA wants to move to in terms of the new architecture for memory, because it tends to be able to send data much, much, much faster. So, um, this is, I'm sorry, but I'm like so blown away from this technology. It's just, you think about why haven't they thought of this before, you know? So it's just funny, but, uh, the, the H, the HBM2, uh, technology will surpass, um, one terabyte a second. So, I mean, that's what they're planning on. So that's like just so unbelievable. The, the, the 1080 to the 1080 Ti is a 35% performance increase. So 35% within its the same series. That's impressive. So if you went back one series, like a 980 Ti, and compared that to a, a 1080 Ti, it's probably more than 50% uh, performance gain. And if you go to a 780 Ti, that should be somewhere in the neighborhood of a 75% increase in performance. So if you have a 780 Titanium video card and you're looking to upgrade, the 1080 would be the way to go because you're almost doubling your performance. You're three quarters of the way there. So you would see a substantial increase with, uh, in performance. It's also dependent on your CPU. If you have it hooked, hooked up, if you have it connected to a Celeron, obviously it's, it's going to try as hard as it can to push that video card. But um, definitely. But if you already have a 780 Ti, you probably have like a 4770 or a 4790, possibly a 3750, you know. Um, or 3770, you know, it could be a car, a car. If you have any of those, definitely a 1080 Ti is the way to go. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Take care.